So hey guys, so welcome to the Warframe video and today we're going to take a quick look at yet another Tenet weapon and this time around it is going to be the Tenet Diplos. Now just like with any other Tenet weapon, the only way to get it is by defeating a sister of Paravos that's wielding the Tenet Diplos. And since I've already made a full video on how to interact with the sister of Paravos system, I'm simply going to link it in the description down below. The Tenet Diplos are a pair of fully automatic Master Rank 16 secondary pistols that do 28 damage per shot, 11.2 out of which is impact. 9 is puncture and 7.8 is slash. They also come with very high crit chance of 36%, an above average 2.2 times crit multiplier, good fire rate of 9.67, a decently sized magazine which holds 92 rounds with a 2.8 second reload, they have solid enough 14% status and they do come with 1 meter of innate punch through. Now the reload here isn't as bad as it seems because firstly you have a pretty sizable magazine so the time between reloads is relatively long and secondly it is a tenet weapon so when you holster it it turns into a briefcase that kind of sits on your butt and it will reload 8 rounds every second while holstered. And there is still more, so while you can just brap away with the Tenet Diplos, just like with any other blood host secondary, when you aim down sights it triggers a bit of a unique mechanic, where you can mark up to 8 enemies by mousing over them and if you then press the primary fire it will send a 2 round burst that's gonna home in on each enemy. Now this kind of disables firing while aiming down sights, though it is still possible, you just need to start firing before you mouse over any enemy, otherwise you mouse over them and it locks you into the homing fire. This does come with some downsides though, it consumes more ammo, it consumes 2 rounds per shot and since you're firing a 2 round burst per marked enemy, Enemy, each marked enemy is gonna cost you 4 ammo and it also locks onto the enemy's body so getting headshots is somewhat difficult most of the time. You basically have to mark the enemy and aim above them so the bullets go up then arc downwards and hopefully hit the enemy's head. And finally since this is a tenet weapon you get a bonus element based on the progenitor warframe, in my case that was about 40ish percent extra heat and it also gains more capacity and you extract more mastery from it as you install more and more forma up to a maximum of 5. So if you want to squeeze the absolute maximum out of this thing in terms of mod capacity, extracted mastery and also unlock the ability to install a lens, you will have to invest 5 forma. But you realistically only need 2, which are gonna be 2 Vs. Though if you do have an impact bonus on your Tenet Diplos, you might want to try and squeeze on a third forma so that you can try and run hemorrhage. I don't think it's worth it if you don't have the bonus impact though, because the stats are just not quite there. But anyway, we're running Hornet Strike for damage, Battle Diffusion for multi shot, or Lethal Sword for fire rate and multi shot, prime pistol gambit for crit chance, prime target cracker for crit damage, then scorch for heat and status, and pistol pestilence with jolt for corrosive and status. Now if you did indeed get an impact based on a diplos and you've tried it with hemorrhage, I would really appreciate it if you could let us know in the comment section whether it works well or not. I think the people watching this video would appreciate it and I would also love to know whether or not that's something I want to go after. Now as far as the performance is concerned, the homing fire isn't particularly good because it's just a quick burst of damage, but if you simply wrap away with the primary fire, you're actually gonna have a good amount of DPS coming out of this thing. It does surprisingly well. Well, I say surprisingly, but that's honestly a lie. The weapon has decent base damage and the crit is very high as well, so there is nothing surprising about it performing well at all, actually. The only faction that's gonna give you some trouble with the setup are of course gonna be the Corpus, because Corrosive and Heat doesn't work particularly well against them, so you're gonna have to swap into Viral or Toxic or something like that. Now while this is of course a very solid secondary weapon with good crit chance and solid status chance and the reload isn't too bad considering the magazine and blah 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 blah, I kind of don't care about that. What I care about is the secondary mechanic where you can lock onto enemies and then burst fire a precise amount of rounds to hit all of them because it feels awesome. Don't get me wrong though, it's not particularly good, it works well versus the Grenier and kind of well versus the Infested but it fails versus the Corpus since most of the time you're not gonna hit their head so you're not gonna punch through their shield gate, so the damage on the lock-on isn't good, but my god, it just feels nice. It's just a fun thing you can do and it's bolted onto a weapon that does really good DPS if you just let it brap away. So this weapon absolutely gets a thumbs up from me and I would 100% recommend you give it a shot. And that is pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.